Jack and Dax the TPL walkthrough part 17. Now last time we defeated Claw and we got through the mountain pass but we've got five things and those are the five curse orbs that we need to get. So I don't really know how I got and um, well, forgot to get these but it's because probably because they're camouflaged into these red crystals over here. Anyway, that's everything we can get so far, so let's move on to the next section. <coughs> the volcanic crater. Now anyway, scout fly down here. <coughs> scout fly number one. Now anyway, we have to get across this bridge which has loads of gaps in it. I have to say that is a very, very big safety hazard. People could die. Anyway, let's go open up the teleport. Ow! Oh, I always wonder if I'm losing body parts in those things. Holy yakow! The red sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the Blue and Red Sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends, you old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eco can be controlled. We've learned its secrets. And now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eco by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the Dark Eco of the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Wait a minute! That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer's heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. So, anyway. Same off. Um, <laughs> Dark Eco's powers cannot be controlled. Shut up. Anyway, Seamus wants to talk to us about something. Great balls of eco! There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider caves. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are spiders in the spider caves, right? Now, of course there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! So... Uh, I think I might do the spider cave first. Yeah. Yeah. But first, let's go in here. Let's go meet some diggers. We've been digging out this massive, massive crystal. Oh wait, I hear a scalp fly. There it is. Scalp fly number two. 
now. Let's go talk to these diggers. Hey, Gordy, uh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through. Uh, us too. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Uh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem with Willard. Actually, we want power cells, not gems. We got four of them. Do you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is, we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you done too? So, how many pr um, precursor orbs do we have? 376. So, if we get four, the four precursor orbs now, we'll have 16 orbs left. So, let's go get our four power cells. Oh, alright already. Here's a power cell for those orbs here. Power cell number 70. 30, one more left. Oh, alright already. Here's a power cell for those orbs he ordered. Power cell number 71. You may have um, just noticed, but that is exactly the same one as before, and we're going to see it again. Oh, alright already. Here's a power cell for those orbs he ordered. Power cell number 72. And I've got one more to get from him. And this, this is a different animation, so don't be, like, alarmed or anything. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I got it this time! Uh, here's a... Here's a... A power cell! Yeah! Yeah! What he said! That's it! You cleaned us out! No more power cell! Power cell number 73. Pretty easy to get. Now we've only got 16 precursor orbs left. They paid us all. Well, they didn't really pay us, but we paid them all out. So. Down here. I've reactivated the gondola. It can take you to Snowy Mountain. Use it whenever you want. Alright, I'm gonna do Snowy Mountain first because I think it's a lot more fun and also it's easier to get to because like it's here. So let's go to Snowy Mountain. Yeah, the gondola takes quite a long time to get there. <coughs> it's gonna quiet. So anyway, lots and lots of lurkers here, and you can't like kill them all, they like just appear out of the snow. Like, I could be doing this all day and they still would be coming out. So anyway. Run! No, anyway. To get power cell, you need to, uh, press all these buttons surrounded by shields. So, let's do that now. Maybe down the slope. Scout fly. And we're getting followed by a lurker. Scout by number one. Come Stop chasing me! Now you have to long jump over here or you can't make it over. Uh oh. There we go. 
Yeah. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, I know, I know one thing we have to do first. Well, we don't have to do it, but we should do it. I think it might be down here. That's it, down here. Come on. Now these bridges, you kind of like skate across them. Which I don't get, because like, Jack's barefoot. He's wearing nothing. Anyway. You guys may remember in part 4, uh, in the Forbidden Temple. Well, we opened up a blue eco vent. Now, we're going to open up the yellow eco vent. So, and it's through these trees. Pretty hard to, like, get the first time. And you gotta go through all these platforms, and then you got these big long things coming up just to kill you. Yes, we got onto it. Now all the yellow eco vents are open. So that's good. There should be a door somewhere. A door. Or a... Like, yeah, here. Oh, <laughs> ouch! Okay, so. How do we get inside this fort? Yeah, how do we get inside that port? Anyway. So. Next time. Ow. Next time. We'll be going inside that port. We get the rest of the power cells in Snowy Mountain. Because this is the end of my Jack and Daxter TPL walkthrough part 17.